Hey, what's going on, guys? Me, Mortimer, here. Uh, I'm in a bit of a rush because I'm going swimming in, like, an hour. And, uh, I went out this morning. Uh, so I literally have about, in total, about two hours to film and edit this. So I'm just going to speed through this. But, yes, yeah, Stagecoach, uh, back about a month ago, made some proposals for service changes in Fife. Uh... They have been announced today, Thursday, the 25th of uh, July. And uh, most of them are pretty much the same as in uh, the proposals. So I'm just going to speed through them. Uh, I'll probably skip all the changes that are pretty much the same as in the proposals. So there's only going to be a couple things here just because I'm in, in such a rush. If you would like to see all the changes, though, please go back and visit the last episode of Bus News, uh, where I go a bit more thoroughly in depth. Okay, so first off, we have the five, which I'm a bit surprised by the fact that it's a circular route, as I thought it'd be the same route both ways, essentially X52 route to Duluth and then up to Five Leisure Park. But from right, however the hell you pronounce it, uh, it follows the X52 route roughly, however, it goes via Petrivi Castle instead of direct down Carnegie Road. And then it does a one-way circular route, uh, counterclockwise via Duluk Amazon, Five Leisure Park, and Duluk Park Retail Park, which, okay. I think they could have maybe done it so that it only served Amazon at rush hour, but honestly, to be entirely honest, who cares? I also find the imagery of Claire Miles and Jeff Bezos at a meeting just attacking each other absolutely hysterical. Next, I finally found out what the hell this meant. Uh, essentially, the loop in Kelty Hill, it'll terminate there instead of going all the way up to Westcroft Way, which is uh, a lot less confusing than I made it out to be. Uh, overall, uh, the 7D is a messy and unreliable route, so I think this change is definitely warranted. And also, I can't recall a single time a 7D has ever had to stop at Carling Nose Point, so the avoiding the terminus there is far from surprising to me. Five Council of had mercy on the Clackman and I. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I've been in Clackman and Shire once, uh, and that was actually just the past week when I was on the AT, uh, and it was actually fairly well used uh, to Alloa. So, I was a bit surprised when they announced they were cutting it to cure us. That's the one. Next, uh, it's the same old stuff with the 14 about uh, the 14A getting an extra Sunday morning journey uh, partnered by Fife Council, and that the daytime 14 Monday to Saturday is getting moved to a different operator. I can't find a single operator that are meant to be operating this. Like, I checked the Bay Travel registrations, nothing there. Checked the Moffat and Williamson registrations, nothing there. I tried to check the A1 Coaches registrations, but I didn't see anything there either. So unless that's been updated in the time I filmed this, then uh, still a bit confused. I also tried to search for the stuff about the Moffat and Williamson 5 for the 30 withdrawal. And yet again, didn't see anything. The registration for it has been updated from the 19th, but... No information on the updated route, so... We're just gonna have to wait and see. Moffat and Williamson haven't made a statement about the new changes yet, so that'll be a future episode of Bus News. Uh, so I'm gonna keep updating uh, myself with the information on the website and hope that eventually some news about the changes will release. Next, we have the 36. The 36 is getting withdrawn. But the 36A isn't. Essentially, what's going to happen is uh, the 36A is going to essentially uh, be an extension of the 32 from Glen Rothes bus station up to the Glen Rothes Royal Infirmary. Seven minute journey time either way uh, with a three minute layover uh, uh, GRI. Yeah, I just I'm at a loss for words for this. However, uh, uh, Moffat and Williamson, yet again, being the saviors of the day, uh, providing the link between Glen Rothes and Newborough, the M36. 
40's being withdrawn, but the 201's going to serve Asda. Can't wait to hear about the passenger numbers on the 65. I think because St. Andrews is a much more uh, popular destination, uh, just in general, compared to Glenrothes. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a single time where someone has willingly said that they would like to go to Glenrothes as a tourist. Where St. Andrews, I mean, not least for the fact that St. Andrews is beautiful, and Glenrothes is Glenrothes, uh, uh, no slander towards it, but, like, there's not really much to lure tourists in, aside from lots of woodland. But, uh, yeah, uh, I've always thought that this would be better than the current 36. Okay, so that's already me through the changes, uh, but uh, I don't have time to actually edit all of this uh, down uh, if I were to go through all of these, so I'm just going to do it this way. But anyways, uh, if you'd like to see all the changes and compare them to these changes, then by all means, go back, watch, I think, episode 30 of Bus News, and we've got everything there. But until next time, Addy, yo!